Uh, no, I'm not talking about the mushrooms. No. I'm talking about oh, the, the cow thing. patties. <laughs> yeah. I should totally try one. They're kind of good. No, I remember <laughs> when I was little, mom got just gonna sit close to. She just has to sit close to her sister. Hey, everybody! Welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? It's me and my sister. And yes, we are wearing the same shirts because we have no other clothes. <laughs> Uh, she was off today. I was off today. We decided to do a few videos together Because you guys request them so you will sometimes see us in the same clothes if we shoot multiple videos in the same day But they obviously will not all come up in the same day. So she of course made me make dinner I'm she should have waited on me, right? That's what I think, but she didn't next time, but we made This is actually lunch. It's not dinner, but we made some breakfast bagels. We have a little bit of vegetables and we have a little bit of apple. So I have uh, some pepper and broccoli and apple, and we have a bagel. I put some cheddar cheese, vegetarian bacon, and some scrambled eggs on top of it. I pretty much did the same thing, except I used American cheese with the fake bacon, and I used mayonnaise, and I closed my sandwich to make like a little Show sandwich. a close-up of your, the bacon so you can see it, what we put on there. We both this put the, the vegetarian. That we've used. That's the Morning Star. So, Very good. Do you think the camera's up too high or do you think it's okay? I think it's fine. Okay, we'll push this back a little bit. Okay, we have a nice little tray here to help hold it here. We're gonna nice closeness it together. Did you shower today? No. Okay. I haven't showered in three days. I, I can smell. <laughs> no, it's easy. That's easy. Here. We're yeah. sisters, so woo! Need. <laughs> woo! <laughs> no. But you guys always ask for that, so we thought we'd do it. Mm -hmm. So let's first take a bite of our breakfast bagel since it's still a little bit warm. <laughs> mm, good. Really good. I did mine open and she closed hers. I figured to hold the ba uh, bacon, but the thing in it better. Mm -hmm. Made Nikki a little bit of eggs, but she didn't want anything to do with it. Maybe in our next video we'll do a Q&A. So, all I can say <clears throat> is if you do have questions for us, leave them down in the comment section. I don't know when that will be, but at least we'll have your comments, so you can put your comments on there if it gets close to the time when we're able to have time off together and do a video. So, if you do have questions for them, leave them down below for the next video. It might be a month from now, it might be a week from now, who knows, we don't know. But we're going to do our best to do videos because you guys seem to enjoy when we do them together. It's been a while since I've had apple. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Usually I'm eating mango, was it, no, mango, bananas, or grapes. I like bananas. I usually try to have banana mm, th three or four times a week. I try to eat one every day if I can because it's supposed to be good for you with the potassium. Potassium, yeah. Mine always seems low, so I try to have some, but I try to mix other fruits, so I don't want to just eat banana. Maybe we can make a fruit salad sometime. Yeah, or buy one. <laughs> That's kind of cheating, but yes, okay. <laughs> Not a lot of pepper. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, I thought we could just talk about life and how you used to torture me when I was little. I never tortured you. Come on. Did, did I torture you? Yes, you did. I got tortured. Because she's older. Hey, when you have older siblings, you get tortured a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> she used to like to scare me a lot. It was so fun, guys. <laughs> yeah, ask her about the time. She got me stuck behind the refrigerator. I don't remember that too much. I remember being stuck behind the refrigerator, but I don't remember. She had to tell that story. But when we say torture, it's just sibling rivalry, nothing mean, nobody got hurt. Joking. In the, in the instance, so we never got that bad. But it was I just did all... get her back when I had a cast. I hit. I used oh, to hit yeah, she the... smacked me in the head. <laughs> I, I forgot all about the boy. You're bringing back some traumatic stuff to me. She did, she did hit me in the head she, with the cast. She deserved it. How did you get that cast? You'd be a nosy. She's, she's I told so you nosy. I'm nosy. She's, she is nosy. We were at a lumber store. No, I wasn't there. I was I at school. Was well, I don't want to see the name. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't it. I don't know. 
Well, I don't even remember the name, to be honest with you, so I guess it doesn't matter. It, it was Lumber something. It was a lumber store when we were kids, and I really don't remember the name anyways now that we bring it up, but uh, she was being nosy, looking around in, in cabinets, and she wasn't supposed to be, but she was looking around, and one cabinet was up higher, and I guess it had a sink in it. It had a sink, and I leaned up and pulled it down, and it fell on my hand and broke my hand in here. I don't know if I broke my arm, but at least... Right I here. Think, I think, I don't know. And I remember mom telling me, as soon as I got my cast, the first thing I did was run outside in the rain and got it all muddy. <laughs> that reminds me of our older sister. Um, Donna wasn't born yet. We, My dad was a police officer. And um, my older sister would strip off all her clothes, run outside and climb a tree. Well, my mom is teeny tiny. She's teeny tiny. How tall is she? Five foot? She likes to think she's five foot. She's probably oh. about four foot eleven. Probably about four foot eleven. But close enough. You know, she's been under a hundred pounds all her life. She's teeny tiny little thing. And she could never reach my sister or climb up the tree to get her. She'd have to call my dad. He'd have to come home in his squad car and come get my sister out of tree. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> That's the older one. Maybe one day when she's in town, we'll all three do a video. Oh, boy. There's just three girls now. We did have a brother. He passed away a few years ago. I think it's about seven years now. Seven years, Six yeah. Six or seven oh, years. Something like that, yeah. And um, so it's just us three girls now. Well, obviously, there's kids, our kids and stuff like that, but I meant as for siblings. Of course, I'm the nicest and the sweetest. My mom loves me the best and my dad. I'm mm -hmm. the favorite. She likes to think so. We fight okay. over that all the time. When we used to, yeah, we always fight over mom. Like, no, mom's going with me. Yeah. No, mom's going with when, me. When we would, um, when we were young, we'd always say we're the favorite. We're the favorite. Well, even still now, we do for all at my mom's house and my dad's house. We always say we're the favorite. But who do you think really is a favorite? Me. I'm the youngest. I really think baby. It, I think it's my older sister. I really do think my older sister is a favorite. I mean, possibly. I don't know. I mean, I never felt unloved or no, no. anything like that. So, but but I think that um, <clears throat> I think she's she's been a little hellraiser though. I mean, she's done oh, yeah. some stuff to to drive them crazy. She would do stuff, and I would get in trouble for it. Maybe that's why I think she's a favorite. Well, you used to do stuff, and I used to get in trouble for oh, it, too. Oh, no, I didn't. I never did anything wrong as a kid. I was probably the most perfect kid you would ever know. My sister, my older sister, would run away when she was, like, 16 or 17. And my parents would think I knew where she went. But she didn't tell me nothing. I didn't know where she went, where she was going, what she was doing. And they'd be mad at me. And I'm like, I have no idea where she went. <laughs> But, I mean, we had a good, we, we were poor. I told you guys that before. We were always poor. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, it was pretty I think we, well, we still always were poor. We were no, never, we always had food on the table. We always had a roof over our heads. That's what I was getting to. But we always had fun. We always had a nice time. My parents did whatever they could. Taking us places. Doing things with us, you know. We always had a bike that we could go out on. I yeah. remember with me, I used to like to go. I thought I was a great experience. Explorer, and I used to go out and try to explore and dig and find new things. And maybe that's why I'm so nosy. Maybe. Do you have a best childhood memory? Hmm. It's so hard when people ask me that. It's like it's so hard. I really had, even though you know we weren't didn't have money and couldn't do the biggest things we always had nice times we always had a birthday party they always tried to do what they could to make everything really great for us and what's with these birthday parties nowadays i mean we were lucky when we were little we got a cake we had some chips maybe some ice cream our friends came over and played that was pretty much it maybe get to do pin a and the donkey and nowadays it's like we gotta have a barbecue you gotta have this gotta give gift bags you gotta have themes you've gotta have this it's like do the kids Did really care even... yeah it's like, are we doing this more for the adults to show off, or are we just... <laughs> it's definitely more simpler when we were kids. Because I've always done that with my daughter, but it's just like... I don't... I never had any real big blowout things for my kids. No, I don't I, think I, I, I mean, I had parties and friends, and... 
I'd rather take the extra money and either have a better gift or even maybe take her out to a better dinner, like for her birthday to celebrate something like that and have something small with her. Because she doesn't like cake anyway. Does not like cake. I'm not I've a never sweet. met a kid that likes cake, doesn't like cake. I never really cared for it either. I was never a sweets person growing up. I didn't care if I had ice cream or whatever. I was more of a savory. Or I'd have something more savory. But I mean, I'm did sure I have you. a piece of cake? Yeah. But I wasn't a big... I mean, if I didn't have cake, I wouldn't have been mad. It wouldn't have bothered me. But I was telling them before, when we had the cakes, we had like those hard flowers on them. Yes, yes. And I you had to buy the those. hard candies to spell out happy birthday. Mm -hmm. And you're lucky you could have enough letters to even get your name put on it. Usually you didn't. <laughs> and back then it was all about the icing. And now it's like, I'm so glad they make that... I want to call it buttercream, but it's mm -hmm. real... It's almost like whipped cream. With whipped topping. Yeah, I like that a lot. They have a good chocolate whipped topping, too. I like Cool Whip, too. I like to get some strawberries, because Cool Whip is kind of really light. Some strawberries and some fruit, and you can mix it with that. So. We had two dogs growing up, Joe and Choo Choo. I had a few too. Well, I remember Sandy. Well, yeah, I forgot about Sandy. Yeah, I forgot about her. She was a little hound dog, wasn't she? Yeah, like yeah. a little basset hound or something. Uh, Joe was a German Shepherd. He was a police dog for many years, and my dad got him. And Choo Choo was a poodle. We had cats. The one I, I don't remember all the cats because we had quite a few cats. They'd come around because we lived in farmland. They would come around. We'd feed them all. We had Bear. Do you remember Bear? The white one. Yeah. You would call him and he'd come running for his dinner. He was such a sweetheart. Then we had one cat. I don't remember his name, but we had him. And I remember we had stairs. We always had to come down. Excuse me. Had to, We had stairs. We had to come down from the bedroom. And he'd always be waiting at the bottom of the stairs and he'd attack you. Your feet. And I was always scared. I knew he was going to be there every morning. I was always scared coming down them stairs that he was going to get me. And he did. Every single morning he got me. Well, I know there are some cats that want to be bothered. Like your cat now. She loves to get attention. Oh, but yeah. some cats just don't want to be bothered. Like Tigger. If he wanted love, he would come to you and he wants love. If you wanted to give him love and he didn't want it, you weren't going to give it to him because he didn't want anything to do with you right at that time. Oh, yeah. And that's how my cat is now. I mean, she loves it. But if you're getting too friendly at the time she will definitely let you know she'll bite you scratch you not like in a mean way just kind of like hey leave me alone which also brings me back to animals did we not did you say spooky we had a dog named spooky right without the poodle Choo -choo. the one that used to, the one that used to hide all the stuff behind the couch and we had to like fetch mm. out the baloney i don't remember his name and every time we were on the bed i used to love to do this we, when i was little my sister and i shared a bed and i remember he'd get under the bed and i'd sit there and i'd scratch at the the mattress and he'd just sit there and growl and growl because he had things under there he wanted. He was a little mean. Oh yeah, he chewed up all my Barbie dolls. He was a little mean. He was a little mean dog. I remember that. But I remember we had um, a bird, Peppy, but I don't think you remember. I don't think no, you I remember Peppy. Them. Well, I don't think you were born for this one. Well, there was many Peppies. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we had a bird. We had several birds and my uncle, he had a monkey. I know Donna doesn't remember that, but he was a, he was a mean monkey. No, but I remember one of our uncles used to feed the gopher. Or, or was it a gopher? Groundhog? I don't remember that. I'm trying to remember what the name of the groundhog was. For some reason, I want to say Bill or Bob or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember that. Are you sure? Mm hmm. <laughs> But yeah, we, I scared Donna a few times when she was young, too. Mm-hmm. One of probably my most memorable ones was um, she was scared of, well, she was at an age she was scared about just about anything, but we had, had some Halloween Dracula teeth, and she was upstairs, and I called her down. I said, Donna, come down here. I got something to show you. And... Um, she come down the stairs, and as she was coming down, because the stairs, you had to come down the hallway, down a set of stairs, then you turned and came down another set of stairs. Then you at the bottom, I had enough time to put the Dracula teeth in, I put them in, and um, she was um, talking to me, and I wouldn't answer, and she's like, why won't you answer, whatever, and so I did a, and I scared her so bad, she started running to the bathroom, and um, I made her pee her pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was so mean to her. Speaking of the bathroom. 
We had an oddly shaped bathroom too. That bathroom used to scare me. Used mm -hmm. to scare me. No, my grandmother's house. It was a wonderful house, but it was older. And my grandfather built it from bottom up by himself. And at that time, it was just made out of mostly wood. So it was really creaky. So it was very scary. <laughs> I mean, my grandmother raised all her kids in there. We were staying with my grandmother, so we were living there. And this was years and years later. But by that time, you know, all those winters and stuff like that, it was pretty wearing down on mm -hmm. it. It was pretty creaky, and it was scary. No, one time I went to the bathroom. No, actually, I think she went to the restroom. I don't know, but I was going to scare her, I remember. And she used to love scaring me by dragging her feet. I have a fear of zombies. And so she's dragging her feet. And it scared me so bad that I decided I was going to hide behind the refrigerator. Well, guess what? I got stuck. And my dad had to come and move the refrigerator and get me out. <laughs> I would have left her back there, but they apparently wanted her back out. No, eventually you're going to notice, right? <laughs> Where's One, Donna? two, three, four, five, <laughs> <the> kid missing. <laughs> and I'm sure, you were, I don't remember, I'm sure you were screaming at that time too. I would imagine. I don't remember. But I just know that every time it was time to be in trouble, someone wasn't, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, she used to always like to scare me. The other the other sister didn't scare me, I don't think. I don't or at least as much. Well make a mess. Just as bad as her. It's okay, we'll get later. Maybe the dog will eat it. By the time she was old enough to scare, my other sister was much older. She's like four years difference than me. She was had boyfriends and was too busy then. But you know, my sister and my brother picked on me too. It just trickles down and she was the last one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm the favorite. When she was little, my grandmother would hold her and would always sing to her. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Remember that? I have a picture of Grandma holding me. Yeah. It's in the backyard. I don't remember the song exactly, but it was about froggies. That I don't remember. Yeah. I remember I used to steal her wigs and stuff. <laughs> we all would her wigs and do her makeup stuff. Like she didn't wear makeup at that time. It was old, old makeup from before. But like when I was telling you guys in another video, like the crazy makeup they had back then, that's what she had. I used to, yeah, I used to think, uh, her, her purses. fake jewelry and purses and her little, her, she had one pair of these high heels, but they weren't really high. They were plastic, and it was reminded me of Cinderella, so I used to always get those shoes and try to wear them and walk around the house. And I always pretended I was a secretary, and I'd get all, like, the calculators in the phone book and act like I was typing and writing things up. And <laughs> I wanted to be like Carol Burnett when she used to wear the wigs and chew the gum. You probably don't know who that is. Uh, some of them do. Quite a few <laughs> of them are, are my are our age. And I remember Mrs. Wiggins in the Carol Burnett show. Mm -hmm, that's what I was trying to be. Yeah, that was a pretty funny show. And some sh other shows good then with like Lucy. And I remember our gra our grandmother used to love the Waltons, which I like now. Well, it's not on now. But Little House on the Prairie, too. And Little House on the Prairie. But every time the Waltons come on, we'd get so mad because we didn't want to watch it. We were young and we weren't interested in it now. But now as an older person, I do, I do enjoy watching it. But we'd always call it the Walnuts. The walnuts are coming on. <laughs> yeah. well, I didn't like that show, and I didn't like any of them. I was told I liked the commercials. Yeah, you would stop. You would stop just to watch the commercial, and then when the commercial was done, is that what you were told? Because I remember yeah. that. You would stop, watch the commercials, and then when the commercial was done, you'd get up and continue on. I was probably waiting for all those... Uh... Morning. Oh, that scared me. I was like, what? <laughs> I have strange men hidden in other rooms. <laughs> but yeah, I used to... Um... Like the commercials, and I guess I was probably just waiting to see if I could find one that had like toys on it, so I could be like, "Oh, that's what I want." When I said that, I have strange men. It made me think of Hotel California. You can come, but you can never leave. <laughs> so come on over to Superflies. I'm just keeping you forever. Oh, 
But yeah. But I mean, we would go camping, or even if it's just out in our yard, we'd pop a tent and camp, and it was so fun. Mm -hmm. Of course, people would try to scare us then. I can remember one time, I don't know if you were with me, but I was at a neighbor's house, and we popped a tent outside, and um, it was a huge open tent, but her father came out with a big old blower torch. <laughs> sneaking up to us and he lit the blow torch and because it was a big tent it was it was open and big and he did it and scared us like it, it scared us to death somebody coming on and doing that but back in that time you could go sleep out in your yard you were safe oh yeah you could have fun like going back to memories where you're asking my favorite i mean i don't know if i can say i have an actual favorite but i mean there are things that stand out like how I used to be able to sleep under the Christmas tree mm -hmm. when we first put it up. And I used to like to go and look up inside the tree with the lights on. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to like the hay rides that we used to go on. Yeah, we had um, several uncles that owned... Well, they were great uncles to us, but they were my father's uncles. But there was farms all around us. We lived in a farming community. And they would do... They would cut the hay and all the kids would come and they'd get on the hay wagon and as they'd set the bells, you know, there's the first one, the first bell of hay, everybody tried to sit on it and then there's a row and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger and we'd be way up on top. You know, I'm surprised none of us fell off. Maybe some of us did, I don't know. I don't remember. Because it was, a, I remember it was a kind of a creakily old wagon and, you know, it was a lot of uneven ground and you'd be back and forth or whatever else, but nobody ever got hurt. And we'd go no. through the corn stalks too. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? Okay. We'd wait till nighttime and we'd go through the corn stalks and, and, and play in there and chase after everybody. But the only thing about that that I remember is that corn stalk would cut you. Oh, wow. The, like I said, the, I don't remember The it, so. leaves or something on the there. Husk. The husk. I don't know. Not the husk because they were... Uh, oh, okay. You know, the leaves that come off. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. It would cut us. So they were pretty rough, so... But still had fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We did a lot of crazy things. I remember one time, and I don't know if this is true, but do you remember that creek that was going behind? Like, not, like here's the house, here's the road, and then there's like a creek. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I went, and I don't remember who I was with, but I was with somebody. We used to go play in it. Yeah, and I yeah. went from one end all the way down to... Uh, it was a long creek. I went down, mm -hmm. and we were picking things. I had, I had Star Wars cookies, and I fell in, and I'm like eating these cookies, even though they're, you know... Kind of soggy and i'm like walking around picking things up and who knows how many germs i, I got i don't time. remember all that but i don't think it was really so it germy you, but it was somebody that was there but i mean but we used to go to the creek it was a very lots of rocks in the creek it was very uneven and it was probably less than a foot high yeah. or even less than that maybe some might be a little you know some of it was a little, a bit. little higher a little lower some of it might be just a little high and then some about a foot high because you could sit in it when it was nice and hot and cooled out it was very cool water there so so. But no, I used to remember we used to go pick, uh, was it blackberries? Blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, yep. Mushrooms, Grandma always wanted us to pick mushrooms too, but she always knew which ones you could eat and which ones you couldn't eat, so we had to be careful because you didn't want to eat ones that you couldn't eat. Yeah, I remember we used to go over into the uh, cow pasture and go get yeah. the things. And yeah. I didn't even know what those things were. <laughs> I, I, don't, I never ate them. Uh -uh. No, I'm not talking about the mushrooms. No. I'm talking about oh, the, the cow thing. patties. <laughs> I should have told her to try one. They're kind of good. No, I remember when I was little, Mom got mad at me because I remember one time I picked one up and I was trying to use it as a Frisbee. <laughs> yeah, because they get all hard from the dry sun and stuff like that. They She's like, what are you doing? Them. Oh, one more thing before we go because I don't want the video to be too long. This is going to be funny. Well, not to her probably. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do you remember we were Easter egg hunting at a big, big picnic? And you saw a pretty caterpillar. Yes. She I saw a beautiful caterpillar. She picked it up, put it underneath her shirt to go show everything. But this thing had stingers in it. And it stung her. Well, I don't know if it stung me, but it, it was a poisonous caterpillar. But it and had, all the hairs. Yeah, all well, the okay, hairs. I say stingers, but it was hairs. But it all stuck to her stomach. And I don't know. Did you have to go to the doctor? Yes, yeah. I had to go to the hospital. And I had to pluck each and every one of them out. Did you do it again? No. Okay. That reminds me of another thing that was really funny. <laughs> we were at a mall and they had a petting zoo inside there. And you left and I thought she was still in there with me. So I'm like bent over doing something and something keeps hitting me in the back end. And I was like, Christine, leave me alone. It's like, stop. 
And it was a goat like chewing at my skirt and hit me in the butt. And he rammed her in the butt. He was ramming her in the butt. Like, get your butt out of here, girl. She's standing out there just laughing. Uh, I, that so, I do remember that. That was funny, but. Okay, guys, I don't want to drag it on too long. If you guys want more of these videos, make sure you give that thumbs up. I'm trying to get to that silver play button. I want it so bad. I really do. So help me get to 100,000 plus. I think you have to do plus because it fluctuates so much. So please help me get that silver play button. We'll be more than happy to do more videos together, not only Question ASMR, answers. Q and A. If you do have some questions for us, leave them here in this video and we'll go over them and maybe in the near future we'll be able to do a video she works i work you know kind of busy but we will fit it in there somewhere and, and maybe i'll be able to get it on instagram too but just leave your comment here and hopefully in the next few weeks we can do a q a for you and if she gets that silver button maybe she'll let me shave her head no absolutely not we'll shave her head okay no. <laughs> <laughs> but um just make sure you leave your comments down below with your questions and just comments that you like the video would be great too. And any questions you have for us that you'd like to know. Oh, I need to remember another funny video, um, funny thing when I shaved my eyebrows trying to be, because I was trying to pluck my eyebrows like dad used to do and I plucked them too bad so I shaved them and then got scared I was going to get in trouble so I used markers to color them <laughs> in. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes. So oh. listen guys, if you want more videos like this, let us know. And I need your help to get that silver play. So give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comment down below. Ask any questions you would like to know. Of course. I know you want to know more about them. Don't get crazy with the questions because if they're too outrageous, we no. will not answer them. Yeah. Okay, so we'll talk to you guys later. I love you very much. You want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. We love you.